Welcome to the ISOWELD Backpack Informational Series. I'm Eric Schonsenbach with SFS, and it is my pleasure to provide you with all the information you need to operate your new ISOWELD tool with confidence. SFS is proud to offer a welding system that offers productivity, reliability, modularity, and repairability all in one package. This video series is designed to cover every aspect of our innovative welding tool system. Over the next few minutes, we will dive into topics like assembly, calibration, operation, and more. If you're looking to learn about just one subject, please refer to the table of contents and timestamps in the video description. So you just received your brand new Isoweld backpack tool. What's next? The Isoweld backpack is housed in a highly protective, airtight, military grade case. To access your tool, undo the four latches located around the case. Inside of the case, you will find all of the equipment needed for tool operation. Locate the warranty card. To activate your warranty, utilize either the URL or QR code listed on the card and follow the prompts to enter your tool information. In the tool case, you will also find the telescoping pole, handheld inductor, calibration template, five inductor replacement pads, the backpack unit, extension cord retainer, and the comprehensive instruction manual. Remove all components from the case. To assemble your new ISOWELD tool, first place the backpack on its side so that you may access the external ports located at its base. The ISOWELD backpack utilizes three main attachments for operation. It is important to make sure that all connections are properly secured and in place. Using the polarized connector, secure the handheld inductor to the backpack. Once attached, use the clip to secure the connector. The wired switch is factory installed and will be ready for use by default. The AC power supply is the third connector located at the base. Be sure this is attached correctly. Tuck the handheld inductor cable under the backpack so that it may properly set on its stabilized base before returning your tool to the upright position. Locate the telescoping handle. The handle is a friction clampering device, so no mechanical fastening is needed for attachment. Secure the telescoping handle to the handheld inductor. The handle is bi-directional and can be installed to preference. Adjust the pole clamp to a comfortable working height. SFS strongly recommends using a dedicated 5,000 watt generator with a standard GFCI for backpack operation. Ensure the power cord used is no smaller than a number 12 gauge and no longer than 100 feet. The calibration process allows the backpack to set the parameters needed to achieve the optimal weld. When calibrating the tool, you must do so in the environment that you will be working in. Use the red power switch located on the side of the tool to begin startup. The LED screen located at the top of the backpack will become functional and run the initialization process. Once completed, the working screen appears. The type of material and membrane thickness can be set in this menu. Be sure that the unit used to represent the thickness of the membrane is set to mil and not millimeters. In addition, the pitch and volume of your welding tone can be adjusted here. Using the select button and the directional arrows, navigate to the calibration option and hit OK. This will start calibration mode. Retrieve the calibration template that was provided with the tool. First, place a TPO or PVC plate that you will be using on the job in the template. Next, insert a sample sized piece of membrane into the calibration template. Finally, put the handheld inductor down on the template and push the start stop button located on the inductor to begin the calibration process. You will hear a beep after one or two seconds. A red light on the handheld inductor will turn on and indicate that the tool is operating. The red light will turn off when the operation is complete. The isoweld backpack is calibrated and ready for welding. To properly equip your ISOWELD backpack tool, ensure all buckles are clipped. Adjust the straps to a comfortable working position. Locate the carabiner clip on the backpack's harness. Use this clip to wrap and secure the excess cable from the handheld inductor. 
place the wired activation switch in a safe and easily accessible spot. The switch body houses three buttons. The green button on top of the switch activates the welding process. The black OK Error Clear button is located on the front side of the switch. This is most commonly used to clear error messages displayed on the unit. The blue button is used to activate the two times welding mode. This applies extra welding energy to your tool in the case that you're over a lapped membrane on the roof or the plate was set too deep. Please note, the two times welding mode is reset after one weld. This means the backpack will automatically return to its default one weld power setting after a single use. To start the welding process, locate a marked plate. Hover the inductor over the plate and press the green weld button. The backpack will emit a distinct tone that will become more frequent as the inductor reaches the correct orientation over the plate. Reposition the inductor until the tone becomes solid, then place the flat end of the inductor on the plate. A red light on the handheld inductor indicates the tool is operating. This light will turn off when operation is complete, and your tool will emit two short beeps. Immediately place a magnet on the welded plate to ensure proper bonding. Be sure that your magnet is clear of debris and not damaged. Leave the magnet on the weld for approximately 45 seconds to ensure a proper connection. Your weld is now complete. A distinct error tone is emitted by the tool to notify the operator that there may have been a problem with the last weld. Mark the plate and return to it after five minutes to repeat the welding process. To continue using the tool after a problematic weld, push the black button located on the side of the wired switch. Alternatively, you can push the OK button located on the top of the backpack unit. Your tool will then be ready to use. To ensure long-term tool operation, it is important to regularly perform basic maintenance on your backpack. Be cognizant of both the tool and magnet's cleanliness. After each use, wipe your equipment down and inspect the components for any damage. General cleaning products can be used on the backpack and magnets. Do not use heavy degreasers or brake cleaners. The backpack is weather resistant, but it should not be left outdoors for an extended period of time as this may void your warranty. Store your tool and components in its protective case whenever possible. Over time, the handheld inductor will become dirty from job site use. The IsoWeld backpack comes with five inductor replacement pads. Use these as needed to keep the induction process operating smoothly. Your backpack is continuously monitoring its performance. It will notify you if there is a potential problem. Refer to the manual that comes with your tool for a detailed list and explanation of common errors. Depending on which error code displays, pressing the OK button will reset the tool and fix the issue. If the problem persists, contact your SFS service provider, check the SFS Group USA website, or reference the instruction manual for recommended next steps. SFS recognizes the negative impact that results from damaged equipment, so the IsoWeld tool was designed with repairability in mind. If your tool is no longer functional, take advantage of SFS Group's tool repair program by locating the warranty card that was provided with your tool. A two-year, 200,000 weld warranty is provided with each IsoWeld backpack. To activate this warranty, utilize either the URL or QR code listed on the card and follow the prompts to enter your tool information. Once this is complete, contact SFS for repairs. The dedicated SFS ISOWELD team will work with you to ensure a comprehensive fix to your tool in a timely manner. If the team determines that your tool is no longer a job site functional, your SFS rep will assist in returning the equipment to SFS headquarters in Pennsylvania for repair. If your job is time critical, SFS will provide you with a repair generator to expedite repairs. If you have received a repair generator from SFS, there are a few steps to consider to ensure proper installation. First, you'll need to remove the defunct generator from your backpack. Open the case that your repair generator is housed in and locate the Ziploc bag. This bag has a T20 bit with a 6 inch extension. In addition, you will find install instructions, the repair generator unit, and a 4 pin to 6 pin adapter. This adapter may be used to make your repair generator compatible with older ISOWELD stand-up tools. Locate the four fasteners on the dark gray grill side of your backpack. 
Using this applied T20 tool, remove these screws. Next, remove the grill from the tool. Disconnect any apparatus still connected to the bottom of the unit. This could include the handheld inductor and the wired switch. Then, remove the orange shell. To do this, pull the shell towards you and away from the generator. Locate the rubber retainer band at the top of the generator and pull this off of the unit. Slide the generator out of the carbon fiber protective case by pulling up approximately two to three inches. Release the AC power connection by applying pressure to the gray tab and removing the plug. The generator is now free from the unit. Locate your repair generator unit and remove it from the case. Follow the same steps in reverse order to complete installation. Once the new repair generator is installed in your backpack unit, return the defunct generator to SFS for repair. Place the damaged generator in the carrying case that your repair generator was installed in. Include your repair instructions and supplied T20 tool as well. You must include the tool repair form that was filled out on the SFS Group USA website. If you have any questions regarding this form, contact your SFS rep and they will walk you through the process. Close and latch the case and apply a zip tie through one of the eyelets. Secure your shipping label to the top of the case and drop it at your nearest shipping center. You should expect to receive your repaired generator approximately 7 to 10 days after it is received by SFS. Please provide us with the tracking information for more accurate communication. For general questions, inquiries, or more, please contact your designated SFS Group representative.